One of the key elements to any Blackboard course is the highest level of organization, which in Blackboard Ultra is called a learning module. Learning modules are great because they allow us to add imagery and then have other items or documents, folders, links inside of them. A learning module is the basic unit of organization. And so we're gonna show you how to add a new learning module to your course. We're gonna click the plus button here. Now you'll notice there's a couple of plus buttons depending on where you are in the course. The goal is to click one of the plus buttons that is outside of an existing box or learning module. So each one of these represents a learning module. And you'll notice, especially when I enroll them, that I can add plus buttons inside of a learning module, so inside of the box, or I can add a plus button on the outside of the box. To add a learning module, we need to click the plus button outside of a learning module. You cannot put a learning module inside of another learning module. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna click plus, create. If you do not see the word learning module here, it means that you are building inside of an existing learning module. So the only thing you put inside of another learning module is a folder. But we're gonna create a learning module. So we're gonna click plus, create. We're gonna add a learning module here. Give it a title, new learning module. At this time, I can either make it visible to the viewers of the course or make it or hide it. We always recommend adding a great description with keywords that can be searched. And we'll show you that search in another, uh, another video. And then here we can add that image. There's several ways to add an image. I'm gonna click on the image icon here. So if I have an image already, I can just upload it from my device. I can use AI to generate an image or I can search within their existing library of learning, uh, of photos. We'll add this one. Next, we'll zoom in on this one. And we'll click save. We'll click save again once it's, uh, it's available. And I now have a new learning module that I can place content inside. And that's how you create a learning module.